The scale that I'm going to teach you how to do today or create today is called an analogous scale. Analogous is a color relationship where there's um, two colors on the color wheel that are next to each other. For instance, um, yellows, analogous colors, are orange and green. Blues, analogous colors, are green and violet. And reds are orange and violet. Um, these tertiary colors, we don't, you know, they're analogous colors because they're neighboring, but when we're mixing a scale, we always mix a primary color with a secondary color. It becomes um, a little bit more complicated because in this instance, we are, um, we're mixing colors from our palette that we wish to create. So what we need to do is do a similar method to mixing um, complementary color scales where we have to estimate, first of all, the closest color on the color wheel um, to our paper sample and then mix the color that is next to us. Next to it. For instance, if we have something that's kind of like yellow orange and it has a little black in it, then we could mix um, an analogous color of red orange with a little <coughs> black in it or, um, or yellow green with a little black in it so, as an example. Um, if you take a look here, just for demonstration purposes and to not waste anyone's paint, I use straight colors out of the tube. But I would like you to mix your color and it's an alias. Um, the reason we can use this color relationship in our painting is because it's pretty. It just looks good. Um, I'm going to start with a new piece of paper to create my scale on. But um, I would like it for you, to, <laughs> when you're saving paper, to use the um, the paper that you've been using right along. Um, make sure to put your name on it. And you always want to mix the darker color into the lighter color. So um, if you would like to batch your analogous color to your, um, your color that you mix to match your paper sample, then um, those are going to be really pretty colors um, on your painting. So what you're going to want to do is mix your dark into your light just like this. Step one is going to be the light color. Step two, you just touch your dark color. Mix it into your light color and then you've got the next step. You can imagine eventually I would end up with um, yellow orange. And then do it again. Because these colors are next to each other on the color wheel, you'll probably only get about five steps. Now when you're creating an abstract painting, there aren't many cases that you're going to create the type of marks that I'm creating on your painting unless you're really into that kind of like small one brush stroke like uh, Van Gogh. But many times what ends up happening is you can take a color and analogous on your color palette and paint with it and you get really nice variation in your color. And, um, and that's it. Just make sure that you put your name on your paper and, um, and that's an example of an analogous color scale.